time now for GMA Investigates. We're taking a look at crash test dummies. They've been used for decades, but they're not designed to accurately reflect the female body. One study finds women are 73% more likely to be seriously injured in a crash than men. Gio's back with a push to make women safer on the road. Hey, Gio. Hey, George, yeah, it's really incredible here because women on average are more likely to be injured or killed in a car crash than men. So this morning right here on GMA, we're taking a closer look at crash test dummies, and this may really surprise you. These are the crash tests that shape car safety in America. But the dummies inside are based on designs nearly five decades old. Are largely built to reflect the male body. In fact, the current female dummy is essentially a scaled down male dummy. My small intestine was ruptured. Maria Weston Kuhn and her family were in a serious crash in 2019. While her dad and brother walked away without injury, she was hospitalized. She says cars are designed to be safer for men than for women because there's no accurate female dummy in testing. She's now advocating for change. When a seatbelt is designed to stop the forward momentum of someone's body in a crash, it's designed to stop that by hitting on your bones, which can absorb a good amount of force, right? I don't have the male pelvis that the seatbelt was designed for. So instead of hitting the bone, it slid up and hit my stomach. And that's how it burst my intestine. Experts say in general, females have less muscle mass than men. They tend to sit closer to the steering wheel and their legs are often bent at a different angle to reach the pedals. Their different pelvis size could also affect the fit of the seat belt. All differences that can change how their bodies respond in a crash. That's where Chris O'Connor comes in. So there's sensors in here that didn't exist 40 years ago. He's the CEO of Humanetics, the largest crash test dummy manufacturer in America. The newest crash test dummy is designed around the injuries that a female would experience that are different than a male. So you can design safer cars against those injuries. O'Connor and his team are pushing to get these more accurate female dummies into government tests now. Our goal and our mission is to save lives. And we developed this test equipment to represent the current injuries and fatalities being experienced, and yet the products are not getting to the market fast enough. I'm sure everyone who is watching this right now is astounded to believe in the year 2024 that we do not use a physiological female crash test dummy behind the wheel of a car to determine the safety of women. Polly Trottenberg is the deputy transportation secretary overseeing NHTSA, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. The previous generation of vehicles, there's no question that there was a disparity between male and female crash outcomes. And look, as a department, we are obviously committed to closing that gap. In the most recent vehicle years, we've seen that gap close, but I think no one is going to rest until we fully close that gap. A 2023 government accountability report slammed NHTSA for not having a comprehensive plan to address risks and limitations in the information the current dummies provide. NHTSA has announced it's been working with Humanetics on that new, advanced, and most importantly, anatomically correct female dummy. They're already experimenting with it. More anatomically accurate in terms of abdomen, upper chest, a more sophisticated set of sensors. This is a real upgrade. So to the critics who say this has taken too long, there's too much red tape to make this happen, what do you say? You know, to some of those critics, you know, including the, the manufacturers of these crash test dummies, there's been some back and forth. They've given us models that needed work that weren't durable and repeatable as we need them to be. At nearly a million dollars apiece, Humanetics believes the newer dummies are ready and NHTSA hopes they could be approved by the fall. This is about our mothers and about our daughters and about our sisters. Every woman getting in a car is at more risk than a man. And even if NHTSA finally approves that female dummy in the fall, it will still take about four or five years before we actually see them in those mandated crash tests. And that's because the car makers will need some time to sort it all out. But it's just incredible, guys. Really surprising mm -hmm. report there. It is yeah. very surprising. Yeah. All right.